Did you just sit up there and like five or six? We got all three guns. We got a comedian here, folks. Yeah! How many panels did you crash so far, Jack? Uh, just... Like every single one? No, just the commencement. The, all the ones in this room, actually. Yeah, like all the ones in here, you fed up with the panel table. Yeah, how do you do that? I just do it. He just does it. He just walks and does it. He just walks and does it. Yeah! You gotta have a snow one. You just take advantage of people not caring. That's my job. I, I do wish I could have like crashed, crashed the Homestuck panel. Just went right in. No, no, we have these panels. Video games. Gotta save the world. Trolls. Shit makes the shit goes down. Stop caring. I stopped caring. I just did it as a hat. What's the time now? It's 4.28. This is a mic track, which I find on the nose of mic track. Everybody hear me? Yeah! Alright. Are you guys ready to laugh? Yes! Are you ready to laugh? Woo! I didn't write any jokes. I'll make some up. Do it. Um, uh, everybody, I'm a very serious person. I'm not a comedy man. I don't do jokes. And uh, to show how serious I am, I would like to lead you all in a pledge of comedy allegiance. I hear the groans. <laughs> this, is not, this isn't funny, and you should be proud to show your patriotism to comedy. So everybody uh, please rise, stand up. Thank you for being compliant so quickly. Really? Left hand, right titty. <laughs> Repeat after me. Quiet! Jeez. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance. To comedy. To comedy. Ha 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 chuckle chuckle giggle giggle snort ha chuckle chuckle giggle giggle snort I also pledge my undying servitude to the patron saint of comedy to my lord and master Garfield yes I hate Mondays amen one more thing one more thing Nazis. <laughs> I still have the, I, I got the shakes right now, I got the Jimmy hands. Uh, you guys want to watch a cartoon? Yes! Too bad. Later, first we're having a contest. You guys want to win some prizes? Yeah. What are you doing? He's filming me crash your panel. Who here thinks that they can do the best Fat Albert Chai impression? You! Oh God. Hey, 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 stay out of my shoes. Any challenges? Yeah. You! Horrible. Horrible. You! Hey, hey, hey. What are you all doing in my shed? You're the leader so far. Who else? Yeah. You! Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. I'm talking about my shed. Okay, you're the leader. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you in the silver. Nobody's seen yet. I sure have purple guys to get out of my shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the purple guy. No, you're not. We'll see. No, 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 no. Who's the guy over here? That was uh, the leader? Still? Yeah. You. Okay. You keep standing up. We're, I'm going to do three more. You, that girl, and then this guy. You go first. Here, go first. I'm gonna see you some for you. 
<laughs> oh, I love that you're singing. <laughs> okay, the girl. You're out. Okay. The guy. I'm gonna sing a song for you. I'm gonna teach you a thing or two. Okay, this guy's still champ. This guy over here is still champ. You have you have one last chance to defend your crown against this guy, you. Let's see what you got, pal. That was very enthusiastic. But I'm just, can I just hear yours one more time? Hey, hey, hey. What I tell you about coming in my shed? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, it's identical. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is BJ. I'm sorry, Jimmy Hans. You win the Powerpuff Girls season one on DVD. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Um, who wants to watch a cartoon? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I've made all of you people laugh, and I've asked for so little in return. Other than your undying love. El <laughs> Garfield. And Chip. El Garfield. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> I like to be touched. Uh, can I touch you? No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, now it's time for one of you guys to make me laugh. This is a joke contest. The rules are: has to be under ten seconds. Who thinks they have a good joke? Can I call you Manson? <laughs> right. Under 10 seconds. Half a worm. There's nothing funny about that one. <laughs> Alright, who else is going to try? Squeak. Anyway, you! Magic.mob. What about it? Uh, it's funny. It's funny, but it's not a joke. <laughs> you? Your work! Astro Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible handshake. Worst handshake I've ever had. <laughs> we have one more contest. Uh, this contest is who can put their hand up the fastest? Go. I don't know why anyone Are you in a committed relationship? Yes. Well, you better break up with that guy. <laughs> because you're about to have a lot of hot dates. Because you have the best prize of all. Dates. <laughs> also, wait, 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 come on, come on. Uh, everyone who was at my thing saw me draw this. You get to have it. Oh, there you go. Uh, That's just something I drew. I had it up all day. There you go. <laughs> what does that say? That word right there. No, not there. Under that. Fist? I think it's fist. Why did I write fist? Because <laughs> you're going to punch it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Do I want to know why you wrote fist? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what fist is. Hmm. What's fist? Yeah. I guess, uh... Now it's time for what you've all been waiting for. I have a friend. His name is. What the heck? How did you know I was going to say that? Spike, Spike Dragonowitz. <laughs> oh, He's a dragon. God, that he lives in Pony World, Ponyland. And I asked him if he would like to make a broadcast live to you people. He said no. <laughs> I told him you have to. You have no choice. He said, well, I guess I can't say no then. <laughs> Roll the garbage.
favorite part of that was. Uh, were you guys all jumping? <laughs> uh, I guess we just do Q&A now, because I'm out of stuff. <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> yeah, but do we give them a mic or what? Sure. <laughs> Stand up and summon me. You, try to hide away! <laughs> Do we want like do we want to have people make a line or what? This is the first panel I've ever done. You have hiccups. <laughs> you know what you need to do is you need to take a sip of water, to put your head back like this, and then swallow it. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> yeah. Um, think about a white horse. When was the last time you saw a white horse? Like a few days ago. Oh wow, what are you some kind of bridge? <laughs> Okay, now are we going to have to like, did they do Q&A in the panels that came with this? No. That would have been too bad. I'm pretty sure people do Q&A in this. I know they do. I think they just raise their hands, you pick one, and then they just yell at you. Yeah, what's your question? How long does it take you to make one movie? Well, there's how you figure out how long it takes me to make one movie. Who are you? What are you doing? I already have one scraggler. I can't have two. I don't care. Not too much to handle. And now we have four. If he's too much to handle, then I'm. To know how long each movie takes, compare the time the movie came out with the time that the previous movie came out. That's how long it takes. But thank you for your question. Next question. You. Uh, I made the first one, and people uh, really liked it, and I was like, can I make more? Should I make more? Um, and then I started having these ideas of, what if I have them all have a kind of story arc that goes through all of them, so they tell one long story? Once I had that idea, I was really excited about making more. But the first one was uh, very much intended to be kind of like a standalone thing. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have accused me of uh, only making these videos for uh, popularity, only to, to be seen. I don't know about that. Um, basically, I mean, the, the reason that I'll make any cartoon is just because I have an idea in my head and I like it, and I'll say, oh, I'll make a good cartoon. I make the cartoons that I would want to watch. That's my MO. So, yeah, no, nothing about that was funny. Next question. Uh, you. So, being that you actually say you draw, you know, cartoons you want to watch, um, did you prefer the old Ren and Stimpy or the new uncensored stuff? You mean the adult party cartoon? Yeah. Um, I like the, I like the adult party cartoon for what it is. I think it has pacing issues. I think they took 11 minute stories and stretched them out as opposed to writing half hour stories. <coughs> I don't understand why you're asking me this. <laughs> um, what your inspiration is, so. Yeah, I mean, the reason uh, my cartoons look like Ren and Stimpy is because I try to pick a different style for each project that I work on. And I try to pick a style that supplements the project and kind of complements it. And I guess for the Dot Move series, that was this kind of a Spunko inspired style. And I think that, I don't know, I guess it works. I was also watching a lot of Ren and Stimpy at the time. So, it works. Yeah. Thank you for thinking it works. Who are you waving to? My camera. You <laughs> wish you were up here. I do. I was. Why I came to talk on. <laughs> this guy. Uh, when did you start, uh, first start making uh, cartoons? Um, like animated? Yeah. Maybe when I was like 10 or 11. Uh, I think I got Flash when I was 10 or 11. I still don't really feel like I know how to use it. Um, or at least I'm still always learning stuff about it. It's, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people will tell me that they're very discouraged when they first start out and the stuff that they make is garbage, but, I mean, if you could have seen the garbage that I made, it was worse than anything that you guys could make. But, you know, it was years and years and years ago. And I've just, I've been doing it so long that I've kind of 
got into this groove where it's like, okay, now the stuff that I make, I like, and uh, I'm proud of it to a certain extent. Next question. You, Manson. Uh, yeah. Out of uh, all your projects, which one would you say was your favorite? Apocalypse Meow. It's about cats. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, it's like Apocalypse Now, but with cats. <laughs> <laughs> My Little Pony was originally uh, a show about cats. <laughs> it was called My Little Pussy, Friendship is Meow. <laughs> but they had to change it to Pony because they had pound puppies, and the, the cats and the puppies were fighting. <laughs> Mortal enemies. Next question. You, um, you, there's two hands up that are very close to each other. The, yeah, Sweetie Belle. <laughs> That's what I'm differentiating myself. You're a jerk. One, <laughs> but, um, uh, how, how much would you say you uh, deviate from the original script like, between, like, finally completing the animation, adding the voices, and all that? Not much. Um, an interesting thing about these cartoons is they were all written months and months ago. They were all written last year. Um, but before they come out, I'll do a rewrite where I'll just kind of add more jokes. Because the way I write, I find that the way I write is I never add enough jokes. Because I like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just addicted to the storytelling. I love to tell stories. And, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, before I start one, I'll look through the script and I'll be like, I didn't put any jokes in here. No one's going to like it. So, uh, since I'm working by myself and I don't have any deadlines, it's great because if I do come up with a joke at the last minute, I can go and put that in there. And nobody can say anything because they don't know. <laughs> um, does that answer your question? No. Yeah. Okay. We can talk a bit longer for my You. Can tell the story. What? Can tell the story? No. <laughs> You know, want me to tell you the story of uh, what's been going on since I came here? I live in Massachusetts. I came here. I took out my septum piercing to get on the planes uh, yesterday morning so I, I could go through the metal detector without setting it off. It, my piercing filled in. I have to get it redone now, and it costs $60. So, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Uh, last night, I didn't get any sleep because I had gastritis, and I'm very sick. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know, I've been in a bad mood since I got here. No, talking to you guys is making, putting me in a better mood, though. Go us! Um, saw The Dark Knight, the new one, last night. Uh, it's very dark, it took place at night. <laughs> I say, a uh, good flick, see it, but don't get shot. <laughs> I walked out of that movie and I just wanted to kill everybody. Um, too soon. Uh, yeah, go see it, but, you know, it's two hours and 45 minutes, who needs that? So don't go see it. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you have a question? Who's best pony? Uh, Shetland, because they, for their breed, they're very intelligent and they uh, carry more weight than any other horse in proportion to their size. I said that last week. I like giraffes. Thank you. Are you thinking about any of those? all. Are you wrong? <laughs> what do you think is best pony? I don't think, I know, Pinkie Pie says pony, I can prove it with science. Let's hear the science. Alright, let's go for the brawl. As the main sticks, that's the name. Who's the best pony? Unicorns don't count as ponies. Pegasi don't count as ponies. All that means is Pinkie Pie and Applejack. And Applejack, so wins. They're worth those Earth parties! Yeah, they're both Hey, 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 the argument's in another panel. Am I the only adult in this room? <laughs> what is this world I've gotten myself into? I don't like it. It's weird. You guys are a bunch of freaks. <laughs> you in the green shirt. Uh, 
I mean, in seconds. The th but the thing they do the most is they ask me questions that I've answered a million times, and that's, you know, that's not that bad. I like my fans. They have good taste. I know that about them. <laughs> um, it's so, I feel, I feel weird even saying the word fans. I don't know if I, I mean, I guess I do have fans, but it's so weird to me that... Would cult followers be like a more... Um, I don't know, I, I, I... Through everything that I do, I just want to continue to, like, not get a swelled head. I don't like thinking about having fans, and I'm sure that my fans are all super nice people, and I love them, but... Uh, I second versions to your name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Colt will be the actor. You said so, Colt. You? So, like, with your Tumblr thing, you had the language of the apples, mm -hmm. right? And with the party MOV, add the thing with the, when Pinky, when uh, Pinky was breaking. I like how you have your hand up and you're walking towards me slowly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want any donations. Take that away. I'm not a charity. Yeah, he can have it. <laughs> what was your? I'm sorry. We. I was very rude. I don't know. My conscience is like. <laughs> I don't know if you really are giving this to me. Not at all. You guys need to. You guys need to settle down. This this poor weirdo over here has yet to have his question answered. He can stay. I don't like him mad at him or anything. He's just being a weirdo. I know, but this weirdo is interrupting this weirdo. And what's your question, weirdo? Yeah, the whole after language, and I know when Pete was breaking, while you're talking down, that there was like some words in the Apple language about Apple Bloom not being dead. Yeah. About that. I don't know what you think. All I can say is that there will never be any zombies in any of my cartoons ever, because they're played out. I'm not a zombie fan. Um, yeah, good call, right? Uh, um, well, we're not too hurry yet. I'm answering a question right now. <laughs> No. I'm always getting ignored. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's fun to kind of put stuff like that in there for fans to maybe come up with their own theories. Because I've been, I've been reviewing the Tumblr stuff. What, th what is your theory? Um, worst, uh, random case scenario, it could be this, you're just going to use magic as a general thing. No. Or, <laughs> no. I'm not going to go with the fanfiction route and just say, magic cures everything. No, magic cures nothing, it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any theories while we're on this? Yes. Uh, you. Okay, Apple Bloom is like a rubber duck. No. This one steps on her and she just goes, ah! and then just pops back up and has no idea what just happened. Other than the fact that she was under a foot. No. I'm probably going to say no. Good one, but not really. Uh, you? We're doing theories right now. This isn't Q&A anymore. Let's hear your theory. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a theoretical guy. I'm questioning. Is that right? No, we're doing theories. <laughs> What's your theory? <laughs> Another theory, please. What's your theory, Manson? Does it have something to do with Helter Skelter? What's yours? A uh, million dollar man. No. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. You. You. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. No, but it's just, you know, it's all going to make sense in the end, I guess. I want to save you some time. You're all wrong. Put yeah. your hands down. You are all wrong, but you don't know why yet. Um, I got some tricks up my sleeve. 
Trick's cereal. I'm Trick's. Not bad. I like to be touched. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? You. I am talking like Spike. <laughs> Spike is my normal voice. Hey guys, it's me, Spike. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Spike. <laughs> Welcome to Pony World Land. I do crimes all the time. <laughs> That's stuff that he says, right? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, his catchphrase. <laughs> hey, how does about I want to have a pizza pie? <laughs> Turkey or ham? Ooh. What kind of turkey? <laughs> Excuse me? Oven roasted. Oh, I've never roasted turkey. What kind of ham? <laughs> Honey baked? <laughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, turkey. No, I, I actually have a turkey sandwich very frequently, twice a week. I don't know where that's from. Delicious. You. Um, what was your true impression of the mass chanting of pressure killings for Uh, no, I think it's cool. I think it's weird, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's definitely cool that I'm I'm making something now that is having an impact on people and people like Not that I have a swelled head about it, but. I'm basically the best. <laughs> um, who haven't I gotten to yet? You in the white. Do you think that if I do like another fucking after slap, that will feel compelled to because of your message? Well, I'm all. I love you too. I always am going to be making cartoons because I can't do anything else. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, what's coming next? I don't know, I can't say, but it's gonna be good, and you're gonna like it. Um, no, I don't, a lot of people wanna know if it's gonna be something pony related. I don't know about that, unfortunately. Um, Cause I don't wanna turn into a one trick pony. <laughs> Yes. Do you actually know how to ollie with a finger skateboard? I said this. I said this to some guy earlier today after playing with a tech deck for a few weeks. I am convinced it's easier to actually skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> those things are nuts, and you must have no life if you're using one of those. Uh, you. What are you dressed as? Shiny armor. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I'm not surprised that I got fans, because I've always had them, but I should have more always. Do you find strange when people cosplay like Shed Fluttershy? I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, it's weird. Uh, the one thing that I've noticed about it is every uh, cosplayer who is uh, Fluttershed or Murder Shy or Fat Albert Shy or whatever you want to call her, I call her Flutter Gyne. Um, nice. they all remake that, can I say slurs? I guess. Yes. That shitty, shitty chainsaw that I drew in three <laughs> seconds. And if I knew people were going to be recreating that chainsaw, I would have drawn a better one. <laughs> that is the worst chainsaw ever. I don't know why it has a giant ass screw on it. Uh, for no reason. But yeah, so continue the cosplaying, I say. Uh, that, you, in the back, you, yes. Um, I have a serious question. I see a lot of creative things, it's pretty weird to um, In Shed.mom, why, or what made you think the term derpy is going to be closer to You're not derpy, you're a human being. You need to understand. <laughs> you're also a human, but you're a weird one. <laughs> uh, a lot of 
lot of people were asking me to put Derpy in the cartoon, in the show, and I didn't really have any idea to. And I'm like, okay, fine, she's dead. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna be coming back in the last episode. Her and Paco are best friends. <laughs> Paco's the best character. Looks like hard times ahead for Paco. <laughs> You in the blue hat. Um, what does Garrett think about uh, the pony references you put him in? He hasn't said anything. I haven't talked to him recently. Um, he did the voice of Pinky's dad. For those who didn't know, that's Garrett Hunter, and he's also in the cartoon. Uh, Garrett is a great guy. I love him. I love the Mega 64 boys. Uh, and I'm sure that, well, I don't know if anyone here cares, but I'm going to. Uh, California this fall, and I hope that they will be polite enough to have me as a guest on their podcast. So look forward to that, if you care, which you don't. Uh, you in the hat. You. Uh, I, I have what I hope to be a somewhat serious question. Is, uh, you have a lot of slapstick humor in your cartoons, yet yeah. here you're doing a whole lot of witty topical humor. So oh, what you. do you prefer most? Witty. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you see more witty top of humor in your cartoons? Hasn't it always been there? I'm insulted that you think it's not. There's a whole lot of slapstick. I'm trying to think if I actually consider slapstick to be funny. I think the only time slapstick is funny is when it's shockingly violent. I actually don't think violence is funny. I don't like when violence is glorified. Excuse me. Um, kind of puberty. Um, yeah, I don't know. When, I, when you say slapstick, what do you mean specifically? Like all the violence in all in the shed? Violence, pie in the face. Yeah. I've never done a pie in the face game. <laughs> but all, all the violence and, and silly uh, characters getting hurt. Uh, Applejack eating a lot of apples and passing. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, like I said, it just depends on the project and. Previous projects, I've probably done less. I feel like I'm doing a lot in this one, and I feel like I'm trying. I'm kind of trying to balance between the two, between the witty stuff and the violent stuff. Uh, yeah. Next question. You in the back, in the blue. Yes. Ah, uh, that. I, you know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to re-edit that for every con I go to, <laughs> <laughs> and after I'm. After I've at least done most of my cons, then it will be online. Okay. So you guys can tell your friends about it. I don't know if any of you filmed it, but if you did, please don't put it online just yet. Did you film it? Did you? No, she, they filmed did you? it with my camera. Um, can you cut that part out? It's his camera. Can you cut that part out? I guess. Yeah, just do like an edit there. Please? I do. I'll just put screen. down, yeah, a black screen says right there in subtitles, Pod Diggity Demon with too much of a dick to let me post this. <laughs> Let's see how I'm a dick. I don't want it to be a surprise to the people at the next cons that I go to. You dropped the camera. No, black I screen. Look, this is what I'm saying. But if I'm up here, <laughs> had I Science! Camera. You dropped the camera. I dropped the camera. I will take that right now. What's your name again? Okay. What's your real name? Greg? What's your last name? Roddy? Gotti. Guy? Gotti. Gotti. Mafia. <laughs> Ready? Good at that? G-O-T-T-I. G-O-T-T-I. What was your first name again? Greg. Greg Gotti. Alliteration, yes. Well, you Gotti, get out of here. <laughs> no. <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? There's one. You. The derp. My box? Yeah. That's one of, uh, on my website, I posted a long time ago, the uh, somebody made these like models. These the which one? This. 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 Yes, sir. That's yeah. I was answering that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sculpture of the one of the rodents that's hanging on the walls in Shed Got Moved. Somebody made it for me. Can I see it? As a, uh, no. I don't want to take it out of the. <laughs> somebody bring me scissors. <laughs> you got scissors. You got a pair of scissors. Why don't you open it for me, so I can talk, do a commentary? Thank you. No problem, friend. 
needs to go on YouTube. Flip it over. Flip it over. Flip it over. Rail. Flip it over. Flip it. Flip it. You have to be careful. It's very delicate. No. Also, Flip it over if, again. If this is cool, I'm gonna. If someone there can change, so I can tape it back up afterwards. Well, this is a conversation that you and I are having. This is this moment. So that's not very sharp. What are you doing? What is that? What is that even intended for? Can't cut shit. Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Oh, this is gonna make a mess. Can you hold this one? Can't get, no, because then I can't talk if I can do this. <laughs> Hold it in front of my mouth. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm all thumbs today. I haven't gotten any sleep. It almost looks like an angel. Okay. Are you? I was like, man, I can do that. Yeah, that's going to my wall. <laughs> Question, what time is it? 5 Yeah, 5 Okay, maybe we'll do like a couple minutes. What's, you got a map now? Oh my god. White horse, think about it. Phil! Mm. Let's do that. Okay, questions. You? Uh, do you have a lot of haters, and how do you deal with negative feedback? Mm, I have probably more haters than I have people who like me. <laughs> um, if you're going to get involved in anything creative, if you're going to get into the creative field, you have to understand, and this, and this is actually something that I realized in spades in like the last couple of years, it doesn't matter how brilliant what you make is or how hack what you make is. You're going to get just as many people that hate you as you are people that like you. It doesn't matter if you're Stanley Kubrick, people are going to hate you. Thank you for your clap. No, 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 it does. I, like it really doesn't matter who you are or what you make. People are gonna hate you for it because they hate what you make. And um, I don't necessarily think it's a healthy mindset to have. I personally think you shouldn't hate anybody. Um, like I have a lot of friends who are artists that I don't like their stuff, but I'm still friends with them and I still like them. Um, you just you have to. A lot of people will say. Don't let it affect you. Don't let you. Don't let it make you sad. I think those people are. I think they gotta be just hiding because. How can it not make you sad? Every time I get any kind of hate or criticism or negative feedback, it makes me sad. Um. Yeah, I'm really sad. Guys. <laughs> um. But no, I'm being serious. What you have to do is you have to have the courage to say, okay, it's gonna make pe it's gonna make me sad but I'm just gonna keep going anyway. That's the only advice that I can give. I would say you have to get hardened to it so that it doesn't affect you, but that's never happened for me, and if it has happened for other people, I don't know how, how they do it. Um, yeah, so. Uh, you, you. If I'll tear you up, I did use uh, you as a reference for a college paper to explain why people watch like cartoons mm -hmm. and like adults. If it cheered you up anyway, I got a B plus. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you did make a good argument when you're explaining why people watch My Love Content. Paper about me, she did A plus E. I'll give you. Uh, you. I'll give you. I myself have been reading a little bit on Charles Manson lately. I just want to know, would you be incorporating more of his material into your What have you been reading? 
Well, just looking up like Charles Manson, like looking up his videos and all that. Have you read Helter Skelter? Because I'm reading that now. I did a. Oh, continue. Let's see. Go ahead. Have you read it or not? Uh, I'm like I said, I'm reading Helter Skelter right now. I did a. I did a podcast. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but a few days ago I did a podcast called The Brony Show, where I was in character as Charles Manson all the time. <laughs> Thank you that you that you think it was funny. The guy did not like it. I think I hurt his feelings and made him mad. Uh, but I, you know, I have no ill will towards him, but I mean, come on, I gotta be funny. I have to at least try to make things entertaining for people, even if I'm only entertaining myself. I'm getting weird. <laughs> you. Yeah, you. I get voices stuck in my head. <laughs> and when I get a voice stuck in my head, I'll walk around talking in that voice. Like I'll say, Hey, 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 I want pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> um, for the record, Bill Cosby is my favorite stand-up of all time. Love him, I think he's the best. So no disrespect to the Cosby. But, uh, you know, that's, I mean, it's a great voice, and I needed a voice for the character. Um, yeah, when I, when I first was making uh, the Apple.move, I think I kind of had this thing in my head that I can't make these characters try to sound like their actual voices uh, in the show, so I should not even try. I should do the exact opposite and make them sound the exact opposite so they all sound like husky-voiced men. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, her first one or her second one? Her second one? Yeah. Eagle Raptor's great. You guys like him? Yeah. yeah. I got some mixed stuff. That's cool. Uh, you? Yeah. Uh, this is quick and easy. Is this natural wax or shaved? My head? Yes. It's shaved. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> my baldness looks nice. It doesn't make me look like I'm 39. No, but actually, I've heard if you like, kept your hair while your front was balding, you look older. But if you shaved your head, you think it's crazy. Why do you think I shave it, shave it like this? Because it works. Because it's comfortable. It is very comfortable. I never have to worry about how it looks. You. You, yes. You, yes. Oh, I'm looking at this guy. Mo, but you keep going. We might as well. We'll do you and then you. Um, yeah, Twilight is my friend Kira Buckland. Um, Eagle Raptor is Rarity and Pinkie Pie in the first episode. And then after that, I do Pinkie Pie in the subsequent episodes. And uh, besides that, I do all the other... Uh, pon main ponies in Spike, but uh, like little side characters I'll get other people for. Uh, you. You. Oh, wait, yeah, we gotta do him. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> no, go, 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 go. Okay, what's your opinion on Bob and Dan for? My opinion on what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's not even music. <laughs> How many people here actually like them? Yeah, no, that's a band. No, like, I'm not gonna make fun of you, but if you're if you're here and you actually like Blood on the Dance Floor, just tell me. Oh, Ouch for them. They, uh, somebody posted my video on their page and they commented on it, and then I felt like a dick. I mean, they're just they're just artists like me making what they like, so I guess you know I can't begrudge them that much but I definitely will make fun of them. <laughs> Originally, that line was Panic at the Disco, but I've made fun of them enough, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Um, you, yeah, you. Uh, whatever happened to Wacky Game Jokes for Kids? Uh, that's a sad story. <laughs> Mickey died. <laughs> now ask me how he died. It should explode. 
No, I mean, it's... I really love that people constantly ask me about that because it's awesome that so many people liked it, but it's done. And, uh... I actually, I re-watched all the episodes the other day. And usually when I rewatch my old stuff, I cringe at it. You know, as does any artist, but... And I cringed a little, but mostly I was surprised at how little I was cringing and how much I'm proud of it. And I, I'm like, wow, this really isn't that bad. I really like that universe and I like those characters, but I just, I, got, I can't, I have too many things to do in only one lifetime. And I'm on a bullet train to death. So, uh, you in the black hat, yeah. Uh, what's the status of horrifying you? That's um, that's being compiled into a book. Um, instead of releasing the new ones online, I'm going to take all the ones I was going to do, the ones I did, put them in a book, and also put a bunch of other shit in there, like uh, pages from my diary when I was a kid, and like photos and stuff. It's going to be like a whole like novel about how much I hate myself. <laughs> and it's just like so many embarrassing stories that you guys are going to love to read about my youth. How does that sound? Okay. Woo. 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 Uh, Woo. You. You. Uh, where do you get most of the inspiration for the uh, Pony Dino? TV. <laughs> no, continue. Continue. But uh, uh, mainly the question is about the Pony.MOV series. Like, yeah. Is it mainly from TV shows or are there actually friends of yours who inspire certain shows? Um, this is a, it's a difficult question to answer because there are so many things, oh, that's, that's a gay answer. <laughs> um, oy, it's hard to not sound like an egghead when you do this shit. Um, but I, yeah, I guess that's the only answer I can give is, you know, just like you guys are, you know, you're nerds about My Little Pony, I'm like just a big nerd about tons of other stuff all throughout my life. Like, I'm a huge Simpsons nut, and I'm a huge Powerpuff Girls nut, and I just love all this garbage. And the stuff that I make is kind of, um, I, I guess it's supposed to come from a personal place, but it doesn't. It's just kind of like all the stuff that I like meshed together, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Is that, is that a good answer? Okay. Uh, you. His question. All right. You. <laughs> what have you had it up for a long time? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, will Spike ever meet Mickey the Dick? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you like to see that? That'd be epic. Yeah. Let's think about how that will go. I think hey, Spike. Oh, hey, me. Mickey. What's up? Not much. I'm a dragon. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. And then <laughs> they have the same voice. They have the same voice. Um, yeah, that's just my talking voice. Do you guys think I sound like Dane Cook? I have had about 50 people tell me I sound like Dane Cook. Uh, and it's not like he has an ugly voice. And I've heard Dane Cook, and I've heard uh, Coach McGurk from Home Movies. I sound like him. So. Um, well, that's not bad. I, I like John Benjamin's voice. You in the back. And then I'm going to do you, because you've had yourself for a while. You in the back. Yeah, you. Out of all your characters, which one do you think you're most like in real life? Mm. Jerry. Oh, God. Do you guys even know what Jerry is? Yeah. Jerry sucks. That is a cartoon that I go back and cringe at. Uh, no, I had fun making that. I don't know if that's the kind of thing that I would make anymore. The remake was better. What remake? Oh, Jerry 2, where it was Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> What's the deal with bees? Why did he make a movie about bees? What's the connection there? Jerry Seinfeld and bees? <laughs> That, okay. Who, who, who did I give Astro Boy to? Give it to him. <laughs> okay. Now you. Okay. 
How do you like your cereal, soggy or crunchy? Or alternative, do you like waffles or pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like pancakes more than waffles. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, what cereal are we talking here? Like, um... Quisp? <laughs> yes. Sure, let's go with that. All right. Maybe somewhere in the middle. What about cornflakes? I don't like cornflakes. Do you like when they <laughs> look like a rooster? Do what? Do you ever wonder why there's a rooster on the box of cornflakes? Like, because roosters eat corn. <laughs> I just blew your fucking. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm sorry if there are any kids and they don't like my swears. But kids like wow. kids don't swears. It's 18 plus, you're good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, the jerk. Are, are there two jerks? Yes. Why, are you guys like jerk friends? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that joke myself until after I pulled it. <laughs> I don't, I think Eagle Raptor told me that he watched, he's, I don't know if he likes the show or not, but he told me he's very annoyed by the character's eyes. <laughs> I don't know why. He says they look crooked to him. So there you go. Uh, I, I don't know, I, th I think Hero was into it at that point. But I mean, they're both friends of mine, so, I mean, I could get them to be in a cartoon about anything and they would do it. <laughs> Suckers. Uh, you? I'm pretty sure you get this question a lot, but do you actually like Mellow Pony? Do I what? Do you actually like Mellow Pony? Like the cartoon? Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> um, I, I like it, but I don't know if I'm a brownie. And the reason I don't... I said this to some. I also said this to somebody earlier today. The reason I don't know if I am a brownie is because I don't really know what a brony is, because everybody defines it a different way. Okay, thank you. But like I, like I said on my website, I just, I, I wrote about it, and I said, I just don't really particularly care for labels in that way. Um, not to insult you guys, but sometimes I think that bronies are people who are kind of struggling for an identity. They're looking for a way to define themselves. Does this sound accurate to you? I, I'd say some people can definitely fit into that. <laughs> but it's, right, it's like I said, I've been a Simpsons nut forever and I've never called myself a Simpsy. I've never felt the need. I'm not a Simpsy, I'm Max. Um, but I watch the show, I've seen all the episodes, I like it, I like Discord, he's a cool villain. I like uh, Spike, I like uh, Apple Man, I like Cherry Face and, and Zinky Zow, all of them, they're great puns. <laughs> There's no more questions? Oh, one, you? What are your goals in life? To die. <laughs> I bummed myself out with that one. Can someone tell me what time it is? Uh, 22. Time for you to walk. 22. Okay, we have eight more minutes. We filled that up quick. You. Um, do you, do you ever, uh, oh, hold on a minute. Uh, you're free to leave whenever you want, but can you tell me where you're going? One of our friends decided to wander all over Tampa to get lost, so we get no time here. Oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Who was I talking to? <laughs> I used to, but I'm not really into that any, that whole scene anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm falling out of it. I like a lot of uh, cartoon guys. I like David Firth. He's great. Um, his cartoons are very bizarre. I like... My favorite uh, Flash guy is named Alan the Box. Do you guys know who that is? Anybody know who Alan the Box is? Okay. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't 
do anything anymore. He quit like 10 years ago, but he's my favorite. But I'm, yeah, I'm not really in that scene anymore. You? Serious, because I don't like when people who aren't me try to be funny. Because <laughs> it disgusts me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, you. I'm good. Um, oh, this panel really took a nosedive. That's what we're talking about. I like, uh, I would prefer chocolate chip oatmeal, but I like the oatmeal, but I don't like the raisin, but I like raisins, but not raisin cookies. <laughs> you! If you were to take the original show, take a character out of it and replace it with a character from your version, <laughs> what character would that be, and how do you think the episode would play out? I thought you were going to say, if I could take the original show and take a character out of it and replace it with any fictional character. <laughs> and I like that better. <laughs> if I could do that, I would take any character out and I would replace them with uh, some kind of giant wasp. <laughs> because I like bees. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think I'm funny. I was very worried you weren't going to laugh. <laughs> Oh, it's just the wasp kills them. <laughs> and then the wasp Nailed dies it. because they die when they sting. So it's just everyone's dead. Blood everywhere. TVMA. Okay, you. Mm. Ice cream? I don't know. I like Ben and Jerry's. I like, when, I like the ice cream that's got a lot of stuff in it. I like, like, if you go and you can get, like, mudslide, which has coffee liqueur in it, it's really good. That was a dumb question. <laughs> so this is a dumb answer. No offense, you're my best friend. You! Uh, so I like the parallel storytelling you're doing through Tumblr and through YouTube videos. Do you guys read Japalak, or am I just making that point? Oh, yeah. okay. I'm glad you like it. Continue. Uh, the, the, the Jabalak Tumblr and the, um, Dot Move series are going to have this, a single conclusion. After, after that, there's going to be an Apple log on the Tumblr, which is my new favorite word. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but unfor unfortunately both are going to come to an end this year. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm starting to get mush mouth. You. His name is Duke. I don't know his last name. Wait, uh, He is a Duke. Duke that does the dramatic readings. Yes. That's amazing. That's. Uh, he does not like bronies. I hate to tell you guys that. He thinks you're gross. <laughs> he sent me an email about it, and he told me to like put a disclaimer in the cartoon about how he hates bronies, and I said that's. Totally distasteful. I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah, seems like a nice guy though. Other than being filled with hate. <laughs> you. When are we going to get our that spike merchandise? I want it so bad. Mm -hmm. I I don't really know if I can sell merchandise with the characters unaltered because of like legal shit. But I got like. That's why, that's why in my store all of it is like kind of just vaguely uh, related to the show. So I, I wouldn't want to just have like a shirt with Spike on it, even though that would probably sell better. Um, you know, well, you only need one. You only wear one shirt at a time. For every day. Uh, okay, we're, we're winding down, I think. You? Um, if you were able to, if you got contacted by any, like, media production, whatever, to join them, or would you rather just start your own? Like, what would you have that be? Define media production. Can um, I? Like, I don't know. Um, 
Well, like an actual like uh, I don't know if you got Pixar or if you got <laughs> Pixar. <laughs> 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 what is this happening? <laughs> Jeez, I thought you were going to say the Discovery Channel or something. <laughs> Jeez. I'll be making Wally too. <laughs> this time he's dead. <laughs> Just death everywhere. I love death. Finish your, oh, yeah, finish your thought. What are you saying? Um, I don't know, like any big, small, like, the only thing that comes to mind is Ajax, but like something like some kind of, I don't know. Well, I sort of have with Nickelodeon, oh. but that's kind of going nowhere, or at least, or it's going very slowly. Um, like, I can't really tell people, yeah, someday I want to have a show on TV. Because I'm on, like, you know, you say something like that, and people just like roll their eyes at you, like, yeah, keep dreaming. But I mean, um, I, I really think that doing something like that would be a lot of fun, and I would love to do it someday. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep like working with Nickelodeon on at least trying to make that happen. Um, but like, I don't talk about it that much because I don't want people to get involved and I don't want people to get their hopes up when nothing happens or if it just kind of peters out. That answer your question? Yeah. Also, would you like to have like any saying like Nickelodeon contact you to do small things like create and stuff? Would uh, say that again? Like I think his name's Craig, the one that does the weird Spider oh. Spider Lane, whatever. Yeah. So like instead of making a show, just making shorts or something? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do anything. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I live with my parents. Do you guys think that's pathetic? Um, no, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can't be my brother. Mm -hmm. I hope to move out this year and then you guys can respect me. Okay. You? Every episode of My Little Pony has a moral and a life lesson at the end. Yeah, so, and like, they're all wise. If your Donald B series had a life lesson, what would it be? <laughs> Throughout life, all that happens is shit gets worse. <laughs> Progressively worse, and worse, and worse. Never goes up, only down. That's why in every episode, Ponyville just gets more and more destroyed and more crazy things keep happening. And in the end, you see there's like a tornado and there's meteors coming down for no reason. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you saw that in the last one. You saw the meteors, right? No, is that... Oh, yeah, that's not in the next one. The moral of the whole thing, just going to get worse. Is that a spoiler for the next one? No, that's not a spoiler. That's not in there. Yeah. Uh, I think I can. What, how much time? Can we take like three more? Do you have a watch? Why do I keep looking at you for a watch? <laughs> Five thirty. We'll do three more. Isn't it supposed to go till six? Anyway. Oh, okay. We'll do. One more. <laughs> we'll go until I get tired. You. Yeah. At one time, I ended up actually stepping into one of your streams one time. And I saw you were drawing a Jappalack update in Flash. Do you use Flash for everything, or do you use any other programs? I do use Flash for everything. All right. Yeah. Let's do so. Let's like do a lightning round. Let's just power through a bunch. You. Okay. Um, I was just going to ask if you had come up with Jack Black and Jack Black series around the same time, or if one of them came first. Jack Black series came first. Next. Uh, the, uh, you. What's your speed setting for Flash? For Fifty. Years? You. <laughs> you. Yeah. You. You like the man who's berserk manga series? I just got two guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did he say? Say that again. Do you read the Berserk manga? No. And I like I do like bananas. Do you do you draw that comic, Berserk? No. Do you want me to read it? Is it is it tight? That's just good. I'll just ask you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You. Uh. uh I almost said Penny. Let's go. Wolf Mother. You. How does that mic smell? It's like metal. It smells like nothing. Squeak. Ooh. You. What's the specs on the computer you used to animate? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. To talk about. Can you go to my website and look that up, please? I have it. Li I, I, I know it's on my website. I know I have it listed yeah, there. It I don't know off the top of my head. It was very expensive. You. Recliner or leanback chair? Recliner. You. Paper bed. 
Cake or death? <laughs> Is that what you said? Cake or death? I don't know, what do you fucking think? <laughs> Death cake. <laughs> Dumb. You. <laughs> yeah? That's it? Get out of here. <laughs> you. No, you don't have to leave. Simpsons episode? Uh, it might be Lemon of Troy or Homer's Enemy or Marge versus the Monorail or. Uh, Treehouse of Horror 20 is very good, because I like the Hitchcock parody they did. Uh, Behind the Laughter, a lot of people don't like that episode because it broke the fourth wall, but it's so funny, I think it gets away with it. Uh, those are the ones that are coming to mind. What's your favorite? Yeah, you like Homer's Enemy? A lot of people like that one. Uh, behind, behind you. Behind that guy. Who says I'm into it? <laughs> Uh, I, I think I saw something about it on Know Your Ma on Meme or Mame.com, that website. Mame. Well, Mame. Uh, yeah, I saw there was a whole article about it and I read it and I was like, oh, people are really into this. And I watched an episode. And I liked the first one enough to like the second one. And then I really liked the second one. And then I saw the third one and I didn't like it. Because I didn't like that with the third one, it was suddenly apparent that it, the show wasn't going to be, uh, wasn't going to have story arcs, it was just all going to be uh, self-contained episodes. But I still watched it and I still liked it. I think I would like it better if it was like story arcs. Because a whole season, just one big story. You're eating that and you licked it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I licked it. Mm. Anyway, to my memory, I, I I saw this in question your daily. Somebody tweeted on one of the writers or something mm -hmm. on, on one of their pages, and they said mm -hmm. that okay, the guy was saying like, oh, I like how in season one you had the arc, you know, with the camp with the gal and gala. How in the second one you have like a really sweet villain. Is there like, are you gonna do any of that back like in season three? It's just like my life is so like, weird now. We might be playing on that, so... Why am I talking to you about this in front of the audience? <laughs> I don't know. I know that. If I remember right, apparently they might be planning in continual story arc with a big villain at the end. But like I said, I mean, I watch the show and I like it. I don't know if I'm a brony. I don't know. Because some people would say... Some people would say, uh, if you like the show, you're just a person who likes the show. You're a brony if you're passionate about it, or if you adapt it as a lifestyle. Or something like that. And other people would say you're a brony if you like the show, period. I don't know. Like I said, the definition changes from person to person. You. You're a big 1990s watch band. How did Jerry Cantrell get involved in the pony? I mean, the party that I will be. How did he get, like, how, why is he dating Pinkie Pie? Yeah. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get all up on that. <laughs> My dad is. Um, <laughs> I was looking through my dad's CDs and he had an Alice in Chains CD and that made me realize either I'm older than I think I am or my dad is younger. <laughs> but yeah, I have a rock and roll dad. Anybody here have one of those? Rock and roll dad? Yeah, my dad likes Kiss and Queen and he still goes to concerts and shit. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. You? Uh, <laughs> I don't like saying this because I feel like saying this invalidates my opinion about movies. My favorite movie is the Powerpuff Girls movie. Awesome! A close second is Barton Fink. And those movies are basically the same anyway. You. Excuse me? What's the version of Flash you use? CS4. You. Um, I mean, I've, I've done a bunch of shit with him by now, and he's super, super, super professional. And the amazing talent that he has, 
that not many actors have is he's able to look at a script and just by reading the script, completely infer how I want him to read the line. And that is very invaluable for me because I'm a lousy director. <laughs> so I like rarely ever have to ask him to do a line again because he didn't do it right. But he's a great guy and he's super nice and I like him. I want to get with him. I want to do stuff to him. JK, you. Do you watch soccer? Soccer? And if you do, then what did you think of the Italian-Germany match recently? I don't watch soccer. Okay. <laughs> you. Why did you choose a flourish-eyed psycho? Because... I think that I think a lot of what I was trying to go with is, was I was trying to go with the characters' personalities, but push to an extreme. I hate talking about this stuff. I sound so pretentious. It's I, I, I sound like I'm talking about something like it's actually important and it actually matters, but it's so awesome. Um, so like Pinkie Pie likes parties. Push that to an extreme, and what do you get? You, you saw the cartoon. Fluttershy is quiet and lives in a shed by herself in the woods. <laughs> Push that to an extreme and what do you get? There you go. You, way in the back. What TV show or movie would you like to see Pwnify? What TV show or movie? Barton Fink? <laughs> Barton Fink is a pony. Oh. Uh, you. Um, death or destruction? Death or destruction? People think I am. <laughs> Jeez. I'm not a demon. I'm, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Destruction can be cool, like watching a bridge be demolished, because then nobody gets hurt. So I guess destruction. It's fun to break stuff, though, isn't it? Yeah. You? Yep. She's hot. Um, I don't really know what kind of opinion I'm supposed to have on her other than she made a cool show. What? I mean, you like the Powerpuff Girls, and she was yeah. sort of a mess. Yeah. Um, cool chick. Cool chick. Her husband is cool. I like her husband. They're having a baby. It's going to be a cool baby. <laughs> you. It was a free association thing because I needed a pseudonym for the internet. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be putting shit online. I need to come up with a username. Hot diggity demon. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that was seriously it. If I could go back in time, I'd actually think about it. Um, anyone left? You. If you had another band play for 17 hours straight, which would it be? Like any band as The Beatles. Okay. <laughs> Bring them back from the dead. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think now we are going to be winding down, so we'll just get a few more. You, and the silver. Um, do you, uh, you like The Simpsons a lot, and Matt Groening is a physicist and a writer. Yeah. Do you look up to him as a writer, or is, do you have a different idol when it comes to writing jokes? He's a physicist? Yeah, he has a master's degree in physics. I thought he majored in uh, philosophy. I didn't know he knew about physics. And his uh, co-writer's a mathematician. That's why the episode of Futurama has the, the one thing they had to write a dissertation on. It. Yeah. Was what was the question again? It was, uh, do you look up to him as a writer, or do you have another idol when, it's, when you're thinking about jokes? Do you have someone else in mind, or is Matt Groening the, the person that you look to for inspiration? The thing that a lot of people don't realize about Matt Groening is, not unlike Lauren Faust, He'll create something and then have very little to do with its production. Um, which I always thought weird. I always thought that was weird because if you make a show, don't you want to make the show? Don't you want to write for it and direct it and see it get made? But you know, you have these guys who just like, it seems like their only job is to come up with ideas and then give it to somebody else. They're, Matt has only written for like five episodes of The Simpsons and that's it. And that's crazy to me. Um, so you have to ask you you have to ask yourself how much of the Simpsons can really be accredited to him and how much is accredited to James L. Brooks and you know other people. What? Um, you were explain, uh, You once said that your least favorite part of animating was the lip syncing. 
What would you consider your second least favorite? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, did somebody over there say something to me? Uh, no? Oh, I had the ice cold on Simpson Raiders name. Oh, who, what did you say? Oh, yeah, when you said James L. Rose, I said Sam Simon. Yeah, Sam Simon, uh, Brad Bird, uh, you know. But, I don't know, and that's crazy. And he's only, he only wrote for like the first episode of Futurama, which is even more nuts. But, um, but like I said, my humor is just like all the stuff that I like kind of put together. Um, so it's like The Simpsons, it's a lot of Tim and Eric, it's a lot of Aqua Teens, Home Movies, South Park, all that garbage, all mixed together. It can be, like especially Wacky Game Jokes was kind of very dry um, and slow paced. And um, Pony Dot Moves a little more wacky. What's your question? Uh, what do you prefer, New Grounds or YouTube? YouTube, because more people go to it. <laughs> um, I haven't gone to New Grounds in forever. And I really, I'm friends with Tom Fault and I really like him, but I just had to kind of move away from that to get more people to see my stuff. And um, Newgrounds, you know, it's a great website, but it's kind of, you know, it's kind of an audience of, you know, like teenagers. It's a very young demographic. And YouTube is more just like everybody. Everybody uses YouTube. Uh, what was your question that I interrupted you? <laughs> Yeah, um, you were explaining once that uh, your least favorite part of animating was the lip syncing. I was curious what your second least favorite part of animation was. Mm. Drawing backgrounds, because they am lousy at it. Yeah. My favorite? Yeah. Adding sound effects and music. Mm -hmm. Because that's when what you've been working on for months suddenly becomes like suddenly it very quickly gets a lot closer to being uh, something that's watchable. And you suddenly start saying, oh, this is what I was doing. Any more, or are we done? You? So I noticed you got merchandise for almost every single series you've ever done, Holy Down Old, um, like Dane Jokes, Jerry, and even the Sackle. How come those tacos are down, man? Mm. <laughs> Would you guys buy that? Yes. No. Yes. No, don't lie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That, when you want that, I'll do it. Okay. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, you. We'll do three more. You, in the back. Fried calamari. <laughs> what do you think? You guys like that? You like it. Uh, yeah, two more. You. Yeah. I do the voices first because I have to have that in order to animate. Everything else, like sound effects and music, that's done in Adobe Premiere uh, last minute. That's the last thing I do before I export the file. Uh, okay, one more. Who's it going to be? Who's got a good one? Who thinks they have a good one, but really it's bad? You. Oh, what the heck is that? Just for that, he's not getting it. You. <laughs> uh, we need a real one. You. You. Yes, you. Um, what got you started on My Little Pony? I already did that. <laughs> you. I did that. <laughs> Grow a brain, you weirdos. You. Mountain Dew or crab juice? Yeah. All right, crab juice. I want a real one. <laughs> I have to get off my... Suck it, ask oh, you do? Well, I have to do one more. I know, I don't want to do the whole time because I'm getting tired. You. Um, you said you worked with Ego Raptor, so what's your favorite quote from Pokey Awesome? I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I need a good one. You. Okay, what question are you sick of answering? <laughs> All of them. Yeah. <laughs> you. Okay, this is a good. <laughs> I really have a dislike for the Transformers movies. Do you guys like that? Squeak. I don't know, it, it bugs me that they make, I guess that the reason I don't like them is just because they make so much money and I think they're kind of hacky. If they, if they were hacky in addition to being unpopular, then I would be fine with it. Uh, my least favorite show, what is my least favorite show? Friends. Do you guys like Friends? 
Okay, what's my gift? We got this for you. What is it? Oh my god. What is I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to thank all of you guys for coming and listening to me ramble. I'm sure this was boring. Um, oh, I'm so hungry. Um, I don't know what. I don't know if any of you guys are going to any other conventions, but I'm doing one later this year. I'm going to Everfree Northwest, I'm going to, I think it's pronounced Pwn3, and I'm going to Equestria LA. I'm really excited for um, Pwn3 because I'm doing a charity auction there, and it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to a good cause. So please, if you can go to those, go to those. Uh, so thanks for showing up. Panel over.